Hi there! Welcome to Family Virtual Storytime. Today we're going to be reading about some stories on friendship. Aren't friends fun? Isn't it fun to have someone to go places with, talk to, maybe talk on the phone or text? Friendships are fun! And what's the best about friendships is that you can always make a new friend. And that's what some of our characters do in the books. So, let's read! Our first story for today is called The Friendship. Have you ever heard of a ship with friends on it? Hmm, maybe Hedgehog has too. Let's see. Hedgehog was curled up in a prickly little ball in the lonely little nook of a lonely little tree when she heard someone say her name. Poor Hedgehog, she seems so lonely. I know, but it'll get better. Friendship is out there. All she has to do is look. Hedgehog jumped up. The friendship is out there. All I have to do is look. And look, look what she's imagining. Look at that ship. Of course, it has its mainstay and the main royale and the lower main top sail, the stern, the foremast, the fore royale, the fore top sail, and of course, friends. Hmm. And so she got to work at once. What you doing? asked the curious beaver. I'm sailing the seas in search of the friendship, said Hedgehog. The friendship, said Beaver. Can I come? I want a friend. Oh yes, said Hedgehog. And the two set off. They had not sailed long when they came upon a herd of migrating deer. Excuse me, called Hedgehog. Have you seen the friendship? Hmm. The friendship? Man, I could use a friend. Me too. Me too. Me too. Hasn't been the same since old Ivory left. Can we come? Oh, yes, said Hedgehog. Double yes, said the beaver. And they all sailed on. Excuse me, called Hedgehog to a little rat. Mm, have you seen the friendship? The friendship, said the rat. No, but pretty please with stinky cheese. Can I come? Oh, yes, said Hedgehog. Double yes, said the beaver. Yes, 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 said the yes, 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 said the deer. And they all sailed on. They sailed north into the icy seas. North, north, north. Hey, polar bear. And they sailed south into the stormy seas. South, south, south. They even sailed east straight into the rising sunrise. East, east. Man, they're going a long ways, aren't they? Every time Hedgehog asked, have you seen the friendship? The answer was always, mm, no. But anytime she was asked, can I come too? The answer was always, well, yes. Wow, look at how the ship has grown. I think there's more than just hedgehog and beaver now. What do you think? Hmm. But after a few days, hedgehog wanted to curl up into a prickly little ball. Oh, hedgehog. She seems a little sad. So everyone gathered around her. Don't give up, said the beaver. We'll stick with you to the end. You can count on me. And me. Me too. We'll find old Ivory. He'll cheer you up. Oh, isn't that kind of them? Oh, hedgehog. And Hedgehog looked at the smiling faces around her. You're right, she said. The friendship is out there. All we have to do is look. Let's give it one last try. And she pointed to an island. It was a very small island with just one elephant. Excuse me, said the Hedgehog. Have you seen the friendship? The friendship, said the elephant. Well, 
Um, isn't that it? Right over there? Hedgehog spun around, then sighed. Oh no, that's just... Wait, what did Hedgehog see? Hedgehog's mouth fell open at the sight before her. She couldn't believe she hadn't realized sooner. Look, she called out. The answer is right in front of us. And she pointed straight at the sunset. We haven't tried sailing west yet. Everyone hugged and cheered. West, west, west. Look at all the friends that are found on the ship. Come on, Hedgehog said to Elephant. And together they went back to the ship. And they all laughed and danced and celebrated as they sailed into the sunset together. Oh, Hedgehog. It looks like she found her friend ship in the end. I hope that everyone finds their friend. Maybe you don't have to exactly go on a ship and go sailing around the country, but as Hedgehog learned, friends are out there. All you have to do is look. Our second story for today is about a character named Sai and how Sai makes a friend. Well, let's see. Sai makes a friend. Sai was born to build. He was born to build. Look, he has his tools and everything. With an eye for detail and a vision to create. Sai bends and he molds and thump, 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 thump with his hammer until each masterpiece is complete. Sai can make these. And he can make these. He can even make these. Wow, isn't Sai talented? Look at all the things he can make. Wow. But he can't make a friend. At least not a real one anyways. Look at that turtle. I think it's made out of a sieve and that's a plant. Oh, sigh, he can't make a friend. Making a friend means venturing out and that can be scary. So, sigh prepares. He practices polite conversation. Oh yes, the weather has been quite nice. And he investigates how his dog's flair for friendship goes. Look at that. His dog has a friend and then another friend. Maybe Sai can learn some things. He tries to look like a friend. Hey, hi, what's up? Doesn't anyone like Sai? Sai knows it's nice to share. Maybe he can make something to attract a friend. Wow, look at what Sai's doing. He's sawing, he's hammering, he's bending, he's painting, he's molding. He can build a surprise. Not a seat, not a box, not a wagon. Hmm, what do you think Sai's built? He and his new friend will ride in a chariot. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Sai really is creative, isn't he? But the chariot won't move without wheels. Very important. So Sai realizes he must make a trip to the market. First, he peeks. Then, he creeps. Look, he's closer to the store. He's closer. Being brave takes time. Isn't Sai doing a good job? You can do it, Sai. Sai beams with confidence. Look at that. He has a lot of confidence, but possibly not enough. He tries to maintain good eye contact, but perhaps a little too much. He shows off his wink, wink, but reconsidering the wink, he heads home. There, Sai raises and rotates until 
Look, he's putting the wheels on. He has a rolling chariot for two. Look, he's going along. Sai is one, but who will be his two? Who will be friends with Sai? At the market, the empty chariot awaits. Sai beams confidence, and this time, just the right amount. He maintains eye contact too, and look, someone else does too. Oh, could this be Sai's friend? Oh, Sai's heart thump, thump, thumps. He shares what he has, his chariot, and so does she. Look, she's put wings on the chariot. Making a friend means venturing out. And hold on tight. New friendships take flight in the chariot built for two. Oh, look, there's Sai, he's one, and his new friend is two. And look, Sai's dog's even along for the ride. Oh, Sai, I'm so proud of you. He ventured out, he made a friend. Well, we've really gone through Sai's journey of friendship today, haven't we? And why don't we learn how to sign some words in American Sign Language with Dan? Hey friends, it's Dan. Well, since today's story time is all about friendship, I thought I would teach you some friendship signs in American Sign Language. The first sign we're going to learn today is for friend, and it goes like this. On both of your hands, take your pointer fingers and curve them so they look like a hook, like this. Then take one of your hands and have it facing up, and take the other one and have it come down and lock in with the other pointer finger, like this. Then flip your hands over and repeat it the other direction, and that's friend. Friend. The next sign we're going to learn today is for best friend, and it goes like this. Best friend is very similar to friend. You take both of your hands and make a hook shape with your pointer fingers and then lock them together out in front of your body like this. Then tug forward twice as you meld the words best friend or good friend, and that's best friend or good friend. Think of it like you're forming a chain and it's an unbreakable chain, like your friendship is so strong it will never break. That's best friend. So there you have it. Now you know how to sign friend and best friend in American Sign Language. Now back to Rose for another story. Our last story of the day is about two friends who live in the woods. Let's see who they are. It's titled, Come Home Already. Look, there's a bear. Oh, look, there's two cute little houses in the woods. This one's kind of small. This one's bigger. Hmm, wonder who lives there. Wow, look, there's Duck. Another glorious morning of possibilities. He's really eating his breakfast, isn't he? Huh, I wonder what old Bear is up to. Get ready for some more fun times, Bear. And I won't take no for an answer. Huh, what's that sign? Wait a minute, gone fishing, back next week. Hmm, Bear's gone fishing? He's back next week? Bear's gone fishing? He's back next week? He's gone fishing, without me. But, but, but next week? Fishing? What am I gonna do with myself until then? Oh, duck. Ah, yes, this is the life, alone with my thoughts. No pesky neighbors knocking on my door at all hours. It's nice to be by myself for once. Hmm, looks like this is Bear's map. That looks like Duck's house. I guess that's Bear's house. There's some trees, more trees, another tree, and then the camping spot down by the lake. It's okay, it's all right. It's not even a big deal. So Bear left without me and I'm all alone. I'll be fine. Yes, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be just 
Fine. After all, I can entertain myself. I'll read A Tale of Two Neighbors by Charles Duckins. No, no, wait. I'll cook. Bear's Recipes. No, wait. I'll write a letter. Dear Bear. Quack. No, no. I'll, I'll play drums. No, I'll watch a movie. No, I'll read. Wait, I already said that. Mm hmm. I really don't feel like doing any of these things. I miss my friend. Come home already, Bear. I'm just so bored. I wonder what old Bear's doing right this second. I bet he's having so much fun without me. Oh. Uh, there's got to be an easier way to set up a tent. Ouch. Oh, oh no, I stepped on that. Ah, uh, never mind. I'll figure out later. Time for some fishing. Plop, plop, plop. Oh, darn. It's starting to rain. I don't like to get my fur wet. Oh, no. I think it's really starting to rain now. And I forgot to bring snacks. I miss my refrigerator. Do you think Bear's having fun? Mm. I'm drenched, I'm hungry, and I don't know how to start a campfire. And I'm just so tired. Oh, Bear. <sighs> Duck's so sad because he's missing Bear. And Bear's so sad because he's wet and tired and he misses his refrigerator. <sighs> well. There's really only one thing to do, says Duck. I'll have to catch up with Bear. He'll surely need my help. After all, I can catch fish with my beak. I'm also great company. Fishing can be really lonely. Plus, it's raining. Gotta find Bear, gotta find Bear. It's getting dark, gotta find Bear. And so Duck goes out. Oh, the woods are scary at night. Ooh, wait. What was that noise? It was probably nothing. Think about other things, Bear. Just think about other things. Nothing to worry about here. Nothing at all. Until, plop. <gasps> Who's that? Click. Ah! And then, ah! Ah! <laughs> Did they surprise each other? I think so. <laughs> Bear, it's me, Duck, from next door. I found you, old buddy, old pal, old chum. Are you hungry? Are you cold? Are you scared? Why were you screaming? Why was I screaming? Duck, Duck, it's really you. How did you find me? I wanted to come home, so I tracked you through the woods. I missed you, old buddy, old pal. Come home already, Bear. Duck, I'm actually so relieved to see you. You are? Absolutely. Please stay. Keep me company. We can go back home together in the morning. Why, that sounds wonderful, Bear. That sounds perfect, some lime. I actually thought you wanted to get away from me. <laughs> Let me help you get set up. I'm good at building tents and making fires. And we can roast these marshmallows I brought. Camping is so much better with a friend, Bear. Yes, I can see that, Duck. Look, they got their tents ready. And Duck knew how to build a campfire. <sighs> Looks like they're sleeping. Isn't this nice, Bear? <sighs> it was a sleep duck. Good morning, Bear. Uh oh, yes, uh, good morning, Duck. So, before I found you, did you catch any fish, Bear? No. Did you enjoy the rain? No. Did you have any fun? No. Did you make any friends? No. Did you catch any fish? You already said that. Well, I'm very happy you're home, Bear. Next time you want to go camping, just give me a ring. I'll come along. I'll always be by your side, Bear. Always and forever. Always and forever? <sighs> Oh, Bear, sometimes he's just found a friend that just loves him so much, huh? <laughs> well, that's the end of Come Home Already, Bear. 
I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you will seek out some more stories by the same author. I hope you had fun learning about some friendships today, and we'll see you next time.